Hey guys, you know, when I'm at home, I love to cook healthy meals for my friends and my family, and I cook three, four nights a week. But sometimes I'm in a rush, I'm on the road, I just don't have the time, and I end up eating unhealthy. And with cars, they say, cheap, fast, and good, pick two. You can say the same thing about food, right? Cheap, fast, and nutritious, and you gotta pick two. So, there's something new. It's called Vite Ramen. I love ramen. You probably love ramen too. But usually it either tastes like junk food or garbage. Vite Ramen is the world's first nutritionally complete ramen. It only takes three minutes to make. I made it myself a bunch. I tried it. It's tasty. It tastes almost like junk food. But Vite Ramen has 25% of the daily value of all essential vitamins and minerals. It has 30 grams of complete protein, no artificial preservatives, nothing's been fried, and it tastes good. You know, the easiest thing you can do to eat healthy is to cook fresh fruits and vegetables and meats at home. But you don't always have time, you don't always have money, you don't always have the energy. Vite Ramen can replace fast food, it can replace frozen dinners, and it can replace takeout and give you more nutrition for less money than all of them. So hit the link in the description, I got a special discount code for you. Order up a pack, try it for yourself. Thanks for listening, enjoy this video. Good morning, folks. This is going to be interesting. I don't drive people's personal builds, but for some very select opportunities, and this is one of them. This is an E30 M3. The E30 M3. Oh my god, I love the E30 M3. Everybody loves the E30 M3. Guess what? I love the E30 M3 too. This one has an S55 engine. That means it has the engine from the current M3. It's a mostly stock engine, but it's been tuned uh, by BPM Sport. Uh, it has three different drive modes. 300 horsepower, which is already 50% more than stock, 500 horsepower, and 550 horsepower on the touch of a button. Uh, it also has the M3 diff, the M3 push to start and uh, gauge cluster, I'm talking about the new M3, and a uh, fully restored interior, um, as well as uh, a true coilover suspension and AP racing brakes. So we are gonna have a go, and we're gonna try all three modes, and we're gonna see what it's like. in advance and there's noise there's no air conditioning and I need to drive with the window down a bit okay first thing I notice no power steering second thing I notice smells an awful lot like gasoline in here third thing I notice is the shifter is without any hyperbole whatsoever the shortest throw shifter I've ever used it's maybe an inch and a half between third and fourth gears. Uh, also, neutral in this particular shifter is not a straight line, it arcs around. Apparently this shifter is out of the Bimmer World race car. One of the Bimmer World race cars, okay. The lack of power steering, it means it's very heavy. Um, oh, really heavy, really need to muscle it. Pedals have great spacing. The throttle response is really good. Uh, what just fell? Is that my thing? I don't know. Something just fell off. The ride is quite nice. Although it's a little firm over the big stuff. Jesus, I hate front engine cars with no power steering. It's so much effort to get this thing around a corner. It needs, I need to do a full Full muscle, full muscle. So even at 300 horsepower, at this power level, it's about the same as the, the E30 I drove with the E46 M3 S54. Pretty manic, but quite powerful. section where that doesn't really matter so much where's a good turnaround 
Oh my god, a three-point turn to this thing with no power steering. Alright, so the, the so far, the idea and the execution as far as build quality goes is pretty high. The engine bay is very tidy. Gauge cluster looks great. Interior looks pretty nice. It wouldn't pass its singer, but some of the stitching's a little wonky, but overall, quite a nice build. And uh, being a SEMA build, the fact that it works at all is a miracle.
something or die. You know, that's pretty much my only my only rule with making these videos is try not to break something or die. And with a vibration like that, at, I don't know what I don't know what speeds we're talking about, but up there, I think breaking something or dying is gonna happen. some fine tuning. I want to find out what that vibration is. I want to I want to get some power steering in here. But otherwise, these guys have done a pretty killer job. This thing uh, it, it 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 works. It works to the to the definition of SEMA car that that goes fast. So uh, to thank you to to everybody involved for letting me have a go. Hit all the links in the description. See what these guys are about, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.